I doing today? I'll tell you. I'm making some tags and this was actually a thing that I've had sitting on my, you know, that ever growing to-do list. <laughs> now this was from about, um, must be about at least 12 months ago, if not a bit longer. And I had it written down um, what to do but I actually didn't have where I got the inspiration from. But I'm feeling that it's something like junk journal inspirations on YouTube. I will go back and check and put the lady's name down in my description. That's if I remember. <laughs> so what I've done, I've been making some tags um, just to have so that I can put in my journals and the tags all have a little hidden spot for some secret journaling. Okay, so they are so easy to make guys and I think they just look really cool. So, you know, if you look at that you can't really tell Unless I bring you up really close, you can see like the cut line there. So I'll just show you how to do it. And I've been, I made these out of just off cut pieces that I had been saving. Okay, so I shall get stuck into it and show you. So, you know, any size off, off cut size pattern paper that you've got. Um, I think my biggest one was about that size. Uh, but you could cut that down for quite a few of them. So I'll just move these ones and I'll work on these and just show you how easy this is to do. Okay, so uh, do you want to know the sizes of the paper? I'll tell you, just in case. Okay, so this is this one here is 4 inches which is about 10 centimeters by 8 and a quarter which is about 21 centimeters so that's the height and width of that so with this one being like that I think I want that side showing so this one here I'm just going to fold up alright now I think, if I remember rightly, um, the one I seen actually used two pieces of separate paper, but that's okay. I'm just putting a fold in mine, so, and I don't really want that that wide, so I'm just going to trim a little bit off, like about that one, that, that size there. So the width now is three and a half by about four inches, okay? So, and then I'm just going to decorate my edges up the top just to make it roughly look like a tag, okay? And then I am going to... I'm going to cut about an inch an inch off the bottom. So I've got both of those folded together, okay? And I'm just going to trim an inch right along the bottom. Okay? And then with these two pieces here, I'm going to glue those together. Some of the tags I've done, I actually sewed all the way around and then cut it. And it's so easy. It really is easy to do. So I'm just putting here a thin bead of glue right near the edge. Because I want to leave a space in between the two pieces. Okay, so then I shall just place that back on there. 
and even that up. Just give that a press down. Okay, so that's the top part. I don't know why I've got that there. Okay, that's the top and that's the bottom there. Now, I've just been using a 220 GSM. It's like a thin weight cardboard. So what I want to do, I want a piece of cardboard that fits in to my bottom part here, into um, the bottom part of my tag. I'll just get a pencil. But when before you cut it, you just want to make sure that you've left enough room either side um, to glue that. Okay, so I'm going to cut that at about two. Can't see where I've put that mark now. There. and seven eighths I think that is it's just one eighth under three and to get the height I've just been putting that in there and just marking that there so I can just do that okay so the piece of cardboard that goes inside that tag is is it two and seven eighths yeah by three and a half which is nine centimeters by seven point five centimeters okay so then all you have to do is glue that in into the bottom part and I'll do that and then just line that up so that it looks even an even space either side and then we'll put some glue on this side here just like that and I'll just press them together. Okay. And then I just I like to open up these and these two pieces here and I just get my ruler and just go give it a bit of a, a hit to make sure that the glue hasn't spread anywhere on the inside and then all you have to do is just push that up there like that and you've got a little secret compartment now I don't know if I've got that on the right side or not because that paper is pretty similar that's better Okay, and that's it guys, more or less. And I have been um, putting a an eyelet in the top of mine and decorating it up really is just however you choose to decorate it. So put an eyelet in there. and I'll link around that edge I don't ink the cuts um, across there I just thought you know I don't really want you to know it's there 
which is a little bit silly, I know, but I just thought it just makes it more noticeable. Okay. So that's on there. And then when I go to decorate it, I've got something here to decorate with, haven't I? Let me have a look. I've just been using just things that I'd left on my um, left on my table. So to decorate this, um, I'm just like putting it down the bottom so that it more or less covers up a bit of that cut line along there but when you do it don't put any glue on the bottom part here because that will just glue it completely shut okay so you know you can put something like that on there I don't really have very many things on here at the moment let's cut a piece of this You know, something like that, and maybe I've been using a lot of butterflies. I do like my butterflies, so I may as well get another butterfly. No, too light. Now yeah, that's got a bit of the same colour on it. Okay, and that there, and occasionally a little bit of cheesecloth under that. But these are so easy to make, and I think they're going to look pretty cool in, in my junk journals. All that works. Okay, so let's just decorate this one up a bit. Didn't I put that needle in there? Oh no, I just used it, didn't I? <laughs> okay, so we've got that. Now, I'll just work out there, just about there. So I just more or less use my thumb nail there as a guide, so I don't want any glue down the bottom part of it. Just put that there. We've got a little stamp here from another scrapbooking paper. So I might put that there. And a butterfly. Okay, and that's it. And then maybe a bit. Um, this one here's got a, a bit of a plain background. There. Uh, so I might just put a little bit of text stamp on it as well. So I can pull that out there. Just do a little bit of stamping down there. Then over the back. to jazz that up just a little bit and then I just need a little piece of seam binding 
and I did have a I did restock my seam binding. Um, I put a bit of that one in. So I put in an order at Witchcraft Do You Do the other day, and I've already received it. Thank you, Kerry. Okay, so let's just trim a bit of this one off. Push that through there. Okay, and that's it. You've got a little, you've got a tag with a little secret journaling card inside. I just think they're so cool. I really, really enjoyed those, doing those. And I made them just from um, leftover pieces of, you know, scrapbooking paper from when I've made my journals because I do keep a lot of that. So I'll just tidy this up here. Um, I'll only do one because I think you got the got the gist of how to do that. And I'll just bring these ones in and show you. They are so cool. So there's this one here. That there show you the back and then that just slips in there and this one then we've got this one uh, these ones here uh, these ones I folded at the side because the, that's where I got the best um, size for the the um, the card. So this one was folded at the side as well. That's that one. Now there are a couple here that um, I have done, but I haven't attached the writing part to the bottom part. I think it was in the sewing ones. Is that one? This one. Uh, this one here was a scrap piece of cardboard and you can notice that it does, like there is a little bit of, um, what's the word? Movement there. But that's okay. Like you could, um, just attach these to your page with a paper clip or you could put it so in a pocket. So these ones here, um, I have sewn with my machine. I folded it over or folded, yeah, folded this one over and I've stitched all the way around the edge and then I have gone and cut my little slip for the bottom part of that. And this one here, I've put glue on both sides of the bottom part and slipped my cardboard in. A little bit of lace under there. But there are a couple that I haven't, that one there is glued in as well, that I haven't actually um, glued the bottom in. Because I thought, oh, you could just pull that apart and have it separate. I really love this one because I love that paper at the back. Um, Little Women, is it? Oh, here it is. See, I've left that separate and that the card just slips in under there. So that's just another, another idea of, um, of what you can do.
and now I've just got to <laughs> open up this one here okay and then you can just slip that one on there I've got a feeling I will end up gluing that one in because it's just um, it gets a little bit fiddly for my shaky hand um, this one here that's a nice long journaling card there in the tag but I just think they look so cool and really if you've got um, you know just something over there covering up a little bit of that line on that side it's really not noticeable so there's another one and then this one here Oh, this one here is another one where I've left that plane where I haven't attached the bottom so you just have to open that up again at the bottom and slip that in okay so that's them guys oh I just love them they are so cool so I've done one, two, three, four, five, six. I've done seven where I stitched with my machine around the outside. And then I've done another lot here that, um, that I hadn't. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. So go and make some for yourself. And you've got that little secret journaling spot inside your tag so cool and that's another thing that I can now tick off my to-do list <laughs> okay thanks everyone I hope you enjoyed that I did that was pretty cool you all have a great day and I will catch you later bye bye